okay so before we start the video just want to say that this video might have come out earlier if i wasn't so busy and if all the creator servers one day but anyways sorry for the hiatus and i hope you enjoy the video <laughs> So, the yearly creator screen fortress update is out and they introduced a couple of weapons and a bunch of maps. I don't really be talking about that much, but being honest, they are really good and the maps play really really well. So, good job creators. But now, we talk about the weapons, yeah baby! <laughs> and thankfully, the guys at creators did not disappoint. We got a reskin of the Pretty Machete. That's cool. Uh, it looks pretty cool for a reskin, I guess. But more importantly, we got the. Now, if you hadn't already guessed it, I was excited as ever when this weapon released because being honest, why not? This is probably the first time that scouts got a weapon on creators.tf, not official ones though. And this is a really cool design of the weapon and it looks great too because being honest, I really like the design. Anyways, let's get to the stats. So, the stats of this weapon are pretty balanced. Yeah, believe it or not, this is the third weapon aside from the quick draw and the thumper that's actually really fun to play with. So basically, this weapon is a weapon of charge. This means that this weapon can charge up a full damage shot in around 2.5 seconds, dealing, get ready for this, 65% more damage and like it's 20% more accurate on top of that. Like, what? <laughs> this makes the weapon feel absolutely insanely fun because you can deal around 150 five damage at max ramp up sure yeah this requires you to be in close range and up in the enemy's face but when you are you can one shot every light class in the game bring down other medium health classes to very low health you see that? bring down a heavy to half of his health <laughs> and most in and this is the most important point you can one shot medics like this took just took the weapon from good to absolutely insane as a scout your job most times is to flank and drop the med and this weapon just makes that job a whole lot easier but keep in mind when you drop the med <laughs> it isn't going to go so well for you hey this does not look good here um <laughs> Being honest, the stats of this weapon just works so well and the charge mechanic just makes you feel so powerful like bro, it feels so good to get a kill. Honestly, the stats of this weapon just speak for themselves. You charge up a shot, get a kill, get killed, 
and do it all over again. Honestly, this weapon's charge just makes you feel great like you can 1v1 any class in the game. But don't get too cocky because remember, you still only have 125 health which is the lowest health level in the game. So don't go charging in with a full charge and expect things to go your way. Now, we all know great weapons are pretty fun, but we all know that they have downgrades to make them, you know, not better than stock and balance. So let's get into the downgrades of this weapon. Now, the scatter shock's main gimmick is that you can charge up a shot, shoot it, deal a lot of damage, rinse and repeat. Now, in order to make this balance, the guys that created the TF added the DK in charge, meaning that if you hold that charge for too long, it's gone, and you have to wait 2.5 seconds for the next one. Now, this works sort of like the overload mechanic in the loose cannon, but instead of being an advantage, it's a real disadvantage, meaning you have to be wise with when you want to charge up a shot and use it and just holding it till the right time and this stat here alone makes you feel so much more responsible when using this thing because you know you can kill the enemy and you know it's going to be perfectly timed and you know if you mess it up you are pretty much done for which adds a whole new meaning to the level of timing playing it safe and going on an insane kill streak which is why this downgrade is perfectly fine the slower firing speed. Now as a scout from the popular game Team Fortress 2, you do everything fast. You run fast, you flank fast, you kill fast and you die fast, which is a pretty clear example of what scout does in every game. But the slower firing speed just slows it down. Let me explain. So scouts go on fires at like what 0 0.8 pe seconds per shot. This fires 15% slower than that and I'm too tired to do the math but that there is pretty long and it makes killing people more of a chore and you can get destroyed by almost any other class due to the firing speed being kind of slow. But as I said in the last stat, it's perfectly fine because well this just encourages you to be less of a getting and get out fighter but more of a i've got to calculate my maximum velocity and time in order to get that guy sort of person if you know what i mean this downgrade is balanced it might not be fair but it makes the weapon a lot more balanced and well good minus 10 percent damage now i'm gonna be short of short on now i'm going to be short on this this doesn't really mean that much. You might not be dealing as much damage as you would if you were using the scatter gun, but if you can aim your shots well and put yourself in the right place, this doesn't really mean much. So this downgrade is okay. It's fine and all right. Minus 80% damage on buildings. Now, when playing as scout, your main objective is not to go for engineer nests or try and go in for their sentries, cause he is literally made to counter you. He said, let your heavy soldier or demo deal with this because it isn't your job, it's theirs. So this downgrade is pretty much inconsequential because you'll never really be dealing with NG buildings as scouts. And finally, our last downgrade, mini crits when it would normally crit. I will really, really be short on this. As scouts, your job is also not to use crits because you can't really make much use of them. Instead, let your demo soldier or heavy and especially your demo can make much better use of these crits to wipe out entire crowds of teams and this downgrade is also pretty much inconsequential so to sum up this weapon its main playstyle is based around timing thinking and control all its strengths and weaknesses come together to make the weapon not just powerful but powerful with the cost and that power can only access when you time it right sort of works like the islander at the start you come off weak with only 150 health but as you go along you become a lot stronger and faster as you get kills so in a nutshell, so in a nutshell this weapon is a 10 out of 10 and i mean it because it's fair to you because you have to think a lot more when using this in order to access its true potential. And it's fair to everyone else because they know what you can do and won't stop at trying to exploit the weapon's weaknesses and stop you from absolutely shredding their stuff. And it's really good because it's a more refreshed weapon in the gameplay of scouts. So go out there, 
hop on the creators the tf server get a mad kill streak and tell them that red denim i sent you ah, anyways we are at the end of this video i really like making this stuff and you guys love it too so i'll keep on going at it and also if you didn't notice i got a brand new mic so the audio is a lot more crisp <laughs> honestly i want to thank the guys are creators for bringing out such a great update and i really enjoyed it i'll also be uploading some bonus videos of various clip dumps i had so it should be sure be sure to look out for those but before i end i have to give a point creator servers have been pretty dry and kind of dead for the past few months which made collecting this footage really really hard so there's a high chance if they don't resurrect themselves or if the c.tf team don't come up with something to fix i'm on a make i might not make another c.tf video again and i might probably just work on something else completely anyways hopefully c.tf finds a way to revive itself i will see you guys later bye bye <laughs>